Today we're going to talk about rounding in Excel. Here we've got numbers at three decimals and you know we can use these handy buttons up here. We can either apply the comma style to make it uh, display two decimals or we can use the, the decrease decimals button there to increase or decrease. But this frequently introduces a problem because here Excel rounds the numbers in these cells for display purposes, but it's not really rounding the numbers. So down here in our total, it's still summing the actual numbers that are in those cells, and obviously these don't add up to that number. And the difference is coming from the third decimal. So let's talk about how we can, how we can resolve that problem. Well, there's a function called round. It's pretty simple to use. We'll open it up in the function wizard and you can see there's only two arguments. One is the number that you want to round and then the other is how many digits you want to round to. So you could put in 1.254 since that's the number we want to round and so we want to round it to two decimals. And you'll see that it's giving us 1.25 and it's building the formula for us up here in the formula bar. But of course that would be silly to do it that way because it'd be faster just to type 1.25 than to type in that formula. So we'll take the number out there and we'll tell it that we want to round cell A1 to two decimals and we'll say OK and we see that now we have our number rounded there. Or you can also round the result of a formula. Like over here if we want to take cell F2 and divide it by cell G2 and we could we could do that and have it rounded to three decimals like this equals round f2 divided by g2 comma three and close your parentheses and there you have your result rounded to three decimals but if we try that over here it's not going to solve our problem if we say equals round parentheses sum a1 to A2, close the parentheses, comma 2, and see we still are having the same problem that we started out with. So one way you could work around that is up here, you could, you could take our original formula and we could basically relocate our data. So you could copy that formula down so that we've got a new column that's rounding our original set of data, and then you could sum that and you would come up with the right number. But you don't always want to reconstruct your whole set of data in another place on your spreadsheet. So there is another solution. I'll come down here and enter a different formula. I'm going to say equals sum, open up my parentheses, and then type round parentheses A1 to A2 comma, tell it we want to round to two decimals, and then we'll close both sets of parentheses. Now, the trick here is we want to enter this as an array formula, and we do that by, t instead of just hitting enter, you do control shift enter. And up here in the formula bar, you can see that Excel has added these uh, curly brackets. That, uh, that tells you it's an array. And what that does, it lets, it lets it do more than one thing in one formula. So what it's doing now is it's rounding each number within the range A1 to A2 and then summing those rounded numbers so we come up with the right number. Now if we go back up here and apply the same formatting we had before, we can see we would have the right number displayed um, as the total of our original numbers. So there you have it, Excel rounding in a nutshell. Um, you know, it, these aren't big differences, but they can definitely create some embarrassment when you appear to be presenting a spreadsheet that doesn't add up. So I hope that helps you.